Well, we are going to simulate this time a coaxial cable. It's a very simple simulation inside FICO. First, uh, first step, we need to define the dimensions of our coaxial cable. Uh, we can get this any any analytical online application where the analytical equation for the, the impedance of a coaxial cable is shown. Uh, we found this a coaxial cable impedance calculator from Pasternak. And here we can see if we assign 3.3 centimeters to the largest cylinder radius and one to the small one. To a dielectric constant of 2, we get exactly 50 ohms. So how can we get some uh, simulation inside FICO for this structure? We move to, we move to our CAD FICO. We create a new model. First, we define a couple of variables. Minimum frequency, 1 gigahertz maximum frequency 2 gigahertz our internal radius from this analytical result is one in uh, here it says diameter but from the equation you can see that it doesn't matter if you consider radius or the diameter there the result is the same so just for the sake of simplicity we are taking the diameter here and just plugging in one here internal radius and external radius at here and external radius we are going to say that it is 3.3 next the epsilon r2 this is our material uh, this is corresponds to something like teflon or something light um, next, the length of our cable, let's see, set it to 10, and I guess everything is set, we can close, we can close, we can see, say that these dimensions refer to centimeters instead of meters, and now we can define it under media, right click dielectric medium just type in epsilon r create we have already our dielectric here first we design the inter the small cylinder construct cylinder origin here this is the r int length this is our first cylinder, as you can see, create. This cylinder is the small one, so it's supposed to be PC. We design the big one. This is the RX and length, create. This, instead, we call it dielectric. Again, right-click here, properties, medium, dielectric, okay. Now, FICO needs to know that those structures, they are in contact with each other. So, we just select both and union. Here, there is a, a warning. We just need to confirm that this small cylinder is actually a, per, a PC material. We're set. Um, this is not quite a coaxial structure because we need to say that this face here, the external face, where is it? Phase 6 is properties set as PEC2. This is the shell of our coaxial connection. So we don't need to create three cylinders, just two cylinders is enough for our definition. All right, this is our structure. We have the union, everything set. Next, we select, we need to attach the waveguide port. The port is here. We This time we're going to use the waveguide port. The waveguide port should be assigned to this dielectric face here. This dielectric face here, you can see, is 
here, phase five, selected. We can move to waveguard port, create. We do the same for the other side. Three, four, there we go. Waveguard port again, create. We have the two ports set on our segment of coaxial transmission line. Now we select waveguard source and we say that the port number one is excited by a generator. Create, done. Frequency here or here, we say that we are covering from F min to F max, let's say 11 points. What else? Um, requests. Let's ask for the near fields, two cut planes, first cut plane, zero minus two times Rx. Um, here is zero. And here is zero, two times Rx, and here is two times length. Just make it different, control C, control V. We make it symmetric. There we go. This is the kind of structure that we are going to use. Maybe this one here, instead of twice the length, we use just small, all right. And here, um, because it's a it's a plane, we are going to sample only V and N, 21, 21. This is random numbers just to get a nice sampling. Add. And now another plane, cut plane, this time is not longitudinal, but transversal to the uh, transmission line. This time is minus Rx, control C, control V, minus length over 2. Here is control V, Rx positive, control C, control V, and here is length, control C. Control V over 2, but this time is positive. Something is wrong here. Minus. There we go. It was wrong. This is not negative. And here we have, um, this is not changing, so this is 21, this is 21. There we go. You see, it's, it shows, FICO shows the point, the points where the field is supposed to be sampled. Create, done. Now we can move to our frequency set, waveguide source, two ports. Everything seems all right. We can mesh. Just the standard mesh, just make it fast. You see the mesh automatically created. We move to solver run, CEM validate. Maybe you made, we made some mistake. Everything seems all right. We move then to the FICO solver. We save it. Any name. Simulation is finished. We can move to post FICO and see what kind of results this simulation gives us. Well, um, here we have the Cartesian graph. You can see that we have a pretty much matched structure, which makes sense because we have a two ports on each side of on each end of the of the transmission line we can see the same result on on the smith chart exactly on the middle and also 
on the coaxial file here just deleted to show how I came here this is the 3d uh, picture 3d model we can select near field one you see here this is the picture of the electric field it only exists inside the structure and it's nice to see arrows and for that we need to set instantaneous magnitude we move to results and here we show arrows and here nicely shown are the arrows for the electric field at the frequency of whatever you pick you pick here two gigahertz and then you can see under animate type face you see here how the electric field behaves as the wave travels down the structure from the waveguide source to the other end we can stop it and we can do the same for the other cut here both are shown simultaneously we can make invisible the first one and here result there we go the magnetic field this is the electric field and this is the magnetic field as you can see as expected magnetic field circling around the inner conductor where the current flows and the electric field all the time orthogonal to the structure of the metallic structure orthogonal to the metallic structure here both the internal and the external conductor um, what happens as you can see here um, what happens if we open if we remove one of those uh, parts so we just uh, exit save move back to the FICO our generator is connected to the part number one so what will happen our generator is connected to the part number one so we move to construction and part number two delete so now we have a part here that can be seen as a connector and we have also to this connector attached a waveguide source which is a generator and the other end is left open so we simulate again finished we go back to post fico and now let's see what the effect is for removing removing this part number two near field one electric field let's see in dp and now what happens animate phase as you can see we have field outside of our structure so our coaxial cable is actually operating as an antenna it's radiating from the open end as expected if we move to our we stop here let's delete it to ask again cartesian drag and drop waveguide source we can see here that we have the reflection coefficient in the b completely mismatched we can see here in cartesian and under the smith chart waveguide source circling around the extreme periphery of the waveguide of the, the smith chart it's it seems like we have a misma mismatch transmission line because the other end is open was left open that's it thank you very much for your attention see you next time